we've reduced the noise, now we can work on just some basic enhancements to make this photo look nicer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of my original by dragging it over here to this little icon. And I'm going to work on my copy so that I'll have I'll have my original in the background and I can refer to it whenever I want. Come up here to the create adjustment layer and come down to levels. Now basically you can play around with this until you like the way it looks but um, I kind of played with this earlier so I kind of have an idea of what I want to do here but I'm just going to lighten this up a little bit and you just keep moving it around until sometimes it helps if you're looking at a photo that you think already looks really good and then you have a reference to go by but I'm, I'm just going to do this by looking at it right now. So I still have this I can turn this off with this little eyeball and on and I still have my photo underneath it. Another thing I want I always like to do is I like to enhance the eyes. So I'm going to come over to this little tool that I like called the quick selection tool and I'm going to come first I'm going to come in and zoom on the zoom in on the eyes and I'm going to come to this quick selection tool. If it's not showing then you may have to hold down on this and then come down to it. It may have the brushes showing. And I'm just going to select the eye and I'm going to press Alt and take this part back off while my Alt is pressed down. And that looks pretty good. Now this is the only part that's going to be affected by what I'm doing here. So I'm going to come over here again to my adjustments and I'm going to come to hue saturation and I'm just basically going to intense the color of the eyes by pressing this up a little bit and I'm going to if you I usually just leave this so you can make it a little bit lighter but you don't want the pupil to be you could just not select the pupil and you could lighten the eye quite a bit I don't usually mess with the hue because I don't want to change the color of the eyes but if you wanted to you could as you can see here. But I'm going to change this back to zero and I'm going to go ahead and click OK and as you can see by turning it off and on I don't even see a difference. Let me see here. Maybe a little bit more. OK. Now I see a difference. You can always uh, change that later if you think it's too much. But I'm just going to leave it like that. The next thing I like to do is come up here to select reselect because we want that section selected again and I'd like to sharpen the eyes so we're going to come up here make sure your layer is selected that has the photo on it and then come up here to enhance and then come to unsharp mask and you'll just basically you can scoot this around you're just basically adjusting this to your liking so, you know, that's completely off and then you're just slowly bringing it up and sharpening it until you get it how you think it looks good. Just leave that and I'm going to go ahead and click OK and let's come up here to select, deselect, view, fit on screen. And now you can see that her eyes are a little bit sharper. So if we turn off everything, you can see how it looked before and how it looks after. And one additional thing that I like to do is come up here to brightness contrast. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, mess with these and see if you could. Um, I actually like it like just a little bit to the left on this one. And you could brighten it up. What you run in danger with with a picture like this is making this area back here blown out and we don't want that area blown out. As you can see it just gets too light and it just doesn't look professional. So we gotta back that off. But I like her skin tones to be light. And so you can just keep playing with that until you get it how you like it. You can see what happens if you do it too much. Just sometimes just a little bit is all you need. So it's going to depend on your photo.